Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DXE UK, Mike 7 Echo India Whiskey, and I want to welcome you to this video where I'm showing um, this uh, double USB powered uh, fan which I use to cool down my ham radio equipment, especially when um, I'm transmitting. Now, this here is the Eluteng um, double fan um, which I bought uh, on eBay, I think it's also available on Amazon here in the, uh, the UK. 120 millimeters in size. I've also, I think this one, this type I've also seen available in, in America and available throughout uh, Europe. So uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description below, but um, I think it's gonna be a UK listing only, but of course you can find these easily, you know, in the uh, rest of the world. So yeah, so um, this, uh, like I said, I use these for my ham ra uh, radio uh, equipment when transmitting because um the equipment that i've got they it doesn't have uh, any um you know any fans supplied any internal fans so i'll what i'll do is i'll show you these fans uh you know how i use these fans on my uh, ham radio equipment okay so i've got my fans um placed um where i normally have them uh, let's say for example where i'm here at home using my shaker x6100 and um, this uh, power supply over here now the Shago X6100 doesn't have an internal fan, uh, fan to cool it and the Maplin power supply here that I've got um, to power up my uh, Shago X6100 or also used for the, G, the Shago G90 this doesn't have an internal fan this can get quite warm um, when uh, you're transmitting constantly like for example when you're using it for digital modes like FT8 and this can get quite hot anyway uh, because it doesn't have an internal fan either so what I do is I uh, use a fan from the uh, the two fans the double fans one is placed here um, with the air blowing into um, the back of the Shago X6100 and here uh, what I do is I do the same the air I make sure the air is positioned or rather the airflow is positioned so it goes down into the uh, power supply um, you can tell where the airflow is going because these fans these usb powered fans um they tell you the direction of uh, you know where the uh, the fans the airflow uh, will be going so uh yeah so like i said usb powered normally i have it um, connected to my uh laptop where i'm doing my digital modes ft8 for example powered up by one of the usb sockets here but i'm not doing um uh, any ft8 or any transmitting at the moment but what i'll do is i have got it to, uh, the uh, usb fan connected to my power bank here so i'm just going to switch it on there we go the fans are spinning now and yeah it does these two fans do a really good job in having you know in cooling down uh, my uh, x6100 and my maplin power supply um i haven't got anything to measure the temperature of you know like for example the back of the x6100 or the uh, maplin power supply but um i can tell you that the difference like for example if i don't have the fan um one of the fans here for example uh, on the back of either like i said the x6100 feels very warm this can feel hot right but with the fan on let's say if you, if you just have uh, leave the fans on as they are all the time when you start transmitting and when you end transmitting the back of the X6100 feels a little warm, that's fine. And this uh, Maplin power supply, uh, power supply feels, feels a little warm. Certainly a lot better than without it, which could, like I said, it can get, you know, quite hot. You see the warning there? Warning, don't touch here, hot. And yes, it can get quite hot. Um, and after a while, it can smell a bit. It's not because it's smoking or anything. It's just, it gets so hot, especially if you're just transmitting. Um, and it's only you know a low it's only meant for low power transmitting um, what you call QRP transmitting so yeah this is something I can highly recommend for anyone that uh, for example that has equipment that lacks internal cooling but you use this you know you lose you, you can buy this USB powered supply um, fan you can get one set or you can get a, a double set like what I've got here the double set it costs about um, I think it was uh, 20 to 30 british pounds or something like that converting on currency and yes it does uh, a great job and yeah you can also use um you know what i've got here usb power bank uh, what's used for charging mobile phones you can use it to power um you know the, your um, ham radio equipment if you're lack you know if you're lacking a, a usb source like for example one from a computer and so on so yeah i just wanted to uh, show you this to give you you know hopefully it might uh, solve your 
heating issues with like for example something like the x6100 or with a um you know with a radio power supply that doesn't have an internal fan so thank you very much everybody for uh, watching 73s and i'll see you in the next video